hello traders it's samurai trader here and today's session I'll be reviewing a number of trade setups on the NQ 133 tick bar as most of you that follow my trading videos or that I coach on a regular basis know that the NQ is one of my favorite markets now there are a number of ways in trading this particular market and of course you've got range bars you've got Renko you've got tick bars uh, and I love the 133 to me that uh, generally I'm in and out and finished and wrapped up within an hour on most trading days using the 133 for those that like a fast moving market you might use the 89 tick but I tend to find that quite often the 89 is just a little too fast for my type of trading now we're also going to review and have a look at using and referring to a higher time frame now in this particular case I like to look at the NQ 3 range and the 3 range for me is a smoother chart and if I'm looking at the overall trend the range chart particularly the 3 works really well in my opinion with the 133 now traders I have to say this that virtually every trader you talk to has a different opinion and so no doubt I'll receive two or three uh, different emails with varying opinions and look it really comes down to what really works best for you but the other important thing is and as you hear me talk about the psychology of trading is that you settle on a methodology and master it become a master at that methodology in trading what I've discovered is that there are hundreds of trading setups and methodologies that really do work and so my opinion is what works for me and what works for my students and clients so let's have a look at uh, some of these setups that we've got here now very quickly I'm not going to talk about psychology today but for further information on my trading setups on my fast track coaching program uh, and, and one common question how much coaching does the average person need when I'm dealing with an experienced trader quite often they only need one to three hours someone that knew that's brand new to trading might need five to ten hours of coaching and they're up and away but I fast track because we cut through the nonsense and and gets down very very quickly uh, to what really works so you can email email me at trader at imadaytrader.com and please subscribe to my youtube channel be kept up to date now the other thing that comes up regularly is why the NQ why this particular market well basically traders there are lots of markets lots of time frames the NQ five dollars a tick twenty dollars a point uh, and the YM I just think the NQ is smoother than the YM than the Dow but the Dow is fantastic as well and I don't tend to get as as uh, much slippage uh, if I go to put 10 contracts on say with the Dow if you go and um, do a market order now uh, let me say this straight away some traders will say oh I don't use market orders you're crazy for using market orders well quite frankly traders sometimes a market moves you my trade setup qualifies and I need to get in so market orders certainly have a place same on the NQ same on the ES so the NQ to me is just a really sweet market you've got good volume more than the YM and uh, I don't tend to get as much slippage now we can look at the CL which is the black gold oil oil is fantastic as well you've got fantastic trading volumes nowadays on oil and it trends beautifully as well so it really comes down to specializing now he who chases two rabbits catches none so become really good at a particular market because let's not forget traders that every market has its own personality and as you begin to master trading you really discover that so um, CL oil uh, uh, yes I'll trade the Dow but the NQ uh, are really a couple of my favorite markets so if we look at the market here we can see my white paint bars here of course of a T1 now we're in a downtrend here and let me just pull back here a little bit we can see it and we're in a quite a downtrend now I did, wouldn't have taken this uh, bounce off for 200 which tradition we take a bounce off for 200 and the reason is traders we had what we call a t11 setup now t11 or you can also classify it as a ABC pattern uh, we can see the fractal break comes across here you would have been in on this particular candle here but notice how we have a very definite lower high at this stage which is a really good trend indication of a change of trend if we then refer lower in my window down here 
and let me mark this up and explain this clearly for you we can see here that our long-term stochastic is rolled over we're heading down our short terms come up and we refer this to this as a cartoon trade or as a money on the floor so this is a very definite change in trend so that's why you wouldn't have taken this because this is really quite a definite um, uh, counter trend trade you can see we did meet resistance at this stage okay you can see that here we, we traveled sideways for a period of time before we finally had another break we had what we call a t to a slingshot and that fell away very very nicely down here of course we had a pivot bounce but if we're trend trading we wouldn't have taken that and away we go now if we refer up until our higher time frame you'll see we've got a very definite fall and in a moment I'm going to pull the chart down uh, and the way I have my screen set up so I have multiple screens I pull that down I have my higher time frame above this particular screen now remember um, uh, the more screens you're looking at the more markets you're looking at the more likely you are to make mistakes mistrades etc now remembering our money management rules we never ever want to risk any more than 2% maximum in a trade the more contracts you trade the more conservative you want to be and because it just makes good sense because remember 90% of our business is trading with confidence and feeling good about the trade and uh, the more risk you have the more contracts the more nervous you get and that's just the fact that's just the way it is so by looking at the 133 and a higher time frame quite frankly uh, as you can see here we've got a ton of trades and uh, 11 ticks uh, on this market is nothing and 11 ticks is $55 now $55 is less your brokerage let's just say it rounds that up at 50 two of those hundred dollars for many traders um, uh, you finish for the day as a low risk um, and risking no more than two percent you've got you know a 20 30 percent return on your capital each week so so let's just get back to this now so we had a lovely t1 had another winning t1 um, uh, down here we had, had t2 and a t1 signal here then we had another and quite frankly you, you would have packed up now all of that's in the space of um, about 35 minutes so you've finished and gone home for the day now traders let me just put this on hold for a moment I'm going to pull down the higher time frame chart so we can see what is happening there so what we're now looking at here traders is the three range on the NQ so if we go right back uh, let me just scroll back a little bit further here for you you can see here where we've started trading up around here and we can see the, the downtrend over the the morning so this is about a five hour period so it's a really nice time frame to be referring to now what you can see here is your t1 signals and you almost had one here as well so you, this is what we call a t25 actually a t25 is a two to five candle pullback then a trend continuation so you can see your zero lag uh, magenta it's rolled over lovely you know it's in a really nice downtrend now as a trading strategy you can just take these every day of week just trading in the direction of longer term time frame on a shorter term for your entry so you had a lovely entry here you've got a t1 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 just trading with the trend why would you even take any counter trend trades now let's look on the lower chart here and we can see a t, uh, we had a t10 t2 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 basically a t2 because you're above your 50 percent level a t2 t2 now you're starting to hit your pivot here getting very close so really it's an area you want to stay out of the point here is that by looking at referring to a higher time frame it's a really good um, uh, idea of your overall trend and particularly when you're referring to your zero lag so let's now go back to our short-term time frame so let's go here now one of the advantages in looking at a higher time frame is this when you're referring to a higher time frame and you look at some of these pullbacks on a higher time frame it's a mere blip in the market and this is where you can get a really good idea of, of um, uh, trades to take or not to trade take however I just want to give you this little warning 
that is quite often you'll get a pullback like this and there can be some really profitable trades that you can miss out on but just by staying with the longer term time frame it really comes down to your trading style and, and uh, what you want to really do here now what I have I have uh, and you can see um, my line here my this horizontal line appears on my uh, uh, time frame above this screen so on the higher time frame so I can be tracking very closely and comparing candle by candle what is happening so we had this t2 down here so we had a t uh, sorry uh, yes we had a t2 and that was a t2 I just haven't marked up so we had a t2 nice one another t2 and let's quickly discuss this particular trade here we had no divergence on the, on the platinum and um, uh, you had divergence back here but once again you're running uh, uh, basically in a channel down as you know I really look for angulation that is for me to even consider taking a counter trend trade to, to consider it I must have my price separating so I have a wedge formation angulation or a bubble it's critical and what we can see here is that we didn't have that so I wouldn't have even considered this particular trade now this one here um, once again I wouldn't have even taken this one either as a counter trend but I just wanted to mark this up because what we now have is both a t11 and a t10 which is at least a short term change in trend and see the little white paper here so what we've got over here we had a lower a lower low we've had lower highs then all of a sudden we've got basically a little double top formation forming but down here we've got then a print now the reason I wouldn't have been in this trade here is we're now price is now edging above our highs we can see here so we've got a possible change in trend the other thing is this how many trades have we had in this particular trend one two three four five now the market moves in waves you can generally say your first two to three trade you are very very safe in and, and, and it's another point I should mention with wave one you generally can have a much higher profit target when you're trading with the trend or the new, new change in trend waves one and two or trades one and two you can have a much higher profit target but remembering the more trades that you take in a trend the higher the chances you are for a change in trend at least in the short term which is exactly what happened here now generally speaking you're going to strike a lot of resistance when you hit your 89 or 200 in this particular case we had a great t10 and as we know t10s are an 85% tra trade generally speaking so uh, ran through went straight through the pivot up here then if we compare in let me just have a look at um, my higher time frame here okay we're actually hitting the pivot very very strongly on the high to higher time frame this is a time really to exit this trade so this is good for uh, you your 11 12 ticks but it was time to get out now here you can see here we're getting divergent setting up uh, at this stage and at this particular stage here on the higher time frame we don't have a t1 until a t1 plot until way over here so we actually had a green candle and it wasn't a red candle until right here so our higher time frame was telling us not to take this trade or not to possibly take this trade if you're trading off a higher time frame you wouldn't have had a signal until this area anyway now this is also a danger zone why is that well notice our 200 EMA is running horizontal with the pivot and you hear me talk about this every day our 89 is going up and starting to roll over now the blue line traders by the way is what I call my trigger line now the trigger line when it crosses through and for some of the traders that um, I'm doing some work with just as a reminder when the blue trigger line has a cross of the zero lag okay it is quite often a change in trend direction so look at that there to go long 
this one here to go short notice here it doesn't cross cross through fully here it does so there and there and look what happens it falls away so it's just a little signal now as a reminder to looking at this chart there's a lot of things on this chart if you are trend cha uh, trading only you wouldn't have the the MACD on okay you want to have a clean there's some other things you wouldn't be doing on this chart you want to keep it clean so you basically here have a nice little double top on the higher time frame it is also right here giving me a t1 signal to short the market so here you would have kept out of this one and by the way this ticked up and would have ticked you out because as you know my general stop or you may not know but for my uh, regular traders and clients I put my stop two ticks above the swing high which is there I would have been ticked out to the tick on this one here and a re-entry so away we fall here again we had a uh, t10 we had a secondary t10 and the reason I call that a t10 is that we haven't quite bottomed out here then we had uh, a, a t2 above here now a t2 I didn't have a t1 now for a t2 signal I'm looking for my short term to kick up and go above or at least to the 50% line here and away we go here we can see we roll back up again um, we have divergence here on the uh, platinum but look at price action what's happening with the price action there is no angulation so notice here how price is running down basically along in line with the trigger line and the channel that is a real danger zone and this is where a lot of traders get caught with divergence trading because you know the trend is your friend until it ends and if you've got a good trend you can sometimes take four or five counter trend trades before the trend ends and what happens is we tend to have this belief that the, the, the trend's got to finish which it is eventually but I just don't want to um, uh, be bet backing against it or betting against it now let's just have a quick look here one two three okay four so we've got four trades then what happens it ends so remember the rule of three to four trades after your fourth particularly traders you want to be really careful you're either going to have a change in trend even if of a short term so I don't want to be caught on this you want to be very very careful once you get four trades or more in a trend here we've got a little double bottom let's see it here um, our platinum's above zero line which tells me I've got a pretty good indication that there's a very good chance that I'm going to have a change even if of a short term then what happens we can see here we go up we basically then have an 89 bounce uh, we have a nice little double top now I want you to write this down where you have a double top and divergence with the trend take the trade all right bet the farm on it not really still stay within their money management rules remember um, there's no old gamblers in this business your old bold traders that are gamblers they're, they're out within a couple of years you're going to do this because Murphy's law is the day you bet the farm on a trade like this they fail but you'll notice these up and as an exercise it's a really good one to be as you're watching your charts to be marking these up and those are traders that um, uh, that I train know this we talk about this every day even though you may not be taking these trades uh, because as you know I want you to specialize in one or two setups until you absolute become a master the masters or the specialists of one that earn the earns the big bucks but you can mark these up but look at this here a double top uh, a falling platinum just a they're just beautiful trades to take and look at this support area that we've got down here so you're in here actually on this candle and that one there I can't move it because I've got um, I can't move this one but let me just mark this up so I take it off but here you had an entry in but as soon as this ticked down but look at this here this is just a sweet trade to take then nice little bit of divergence here we've got uh, we actually have some angulation here on this one but right around a pivot but you would have been stopped out if you took this one but a nice little trend trade once again but notice here we're in a very very strong downtrend what else are we looking at we're looking at our anchor chart 
now if we looked at our anchor chart right now we would see that we're in a really strong downtrend but there is one thing that's starting to happen here on our anchor chart remember the further you move out from the channel on your short term or your higher time frames out of this particular channel here you're getting closer to a pullback all right you're going to go back to the mean so you could really see that this is starting to get a bit hairy here so you just want to really be careful now we go back up here and what have I got here we've got a, uh, on the higher time frame we had a beautiful pullback right into the channel we had a red candle forming here in the channel right on this one then of course we get a t1 plot your entry if you're being conservative wouldn't have been till here until your zero lag but this is almost a 200 bounce you got a 200 bounce here but what about this trade right here right here right now well here you wouldn't have been in until here until you tick over here and you would have been stopped out of this one now just remember traders you're not going to get them all here this would have been a nice little divergence trade uh, you've had a good fall down and if you look at uh, um, your higher time frame you would have seen you were actually above the zero line on your platinum and what have I got here well we can see our 200 EMA is in a very strong downtrend I've got a lovely little divergence trade here on both my platinum and on price with the overall trend what do we do we bet the farm okay we're on it I actually should stop uh, saying that using that statement because some um, newer traders might think I'm serious no you, you stay within your risk parameters at all times remember traders look our business is really about making money I want to inspire you I want to help you become wealthy I want to change the day traders world forever how do I do that by drumming into you that money management and risk management and patience are the key key factors it's just not about uh, gaining screen time it's about becoming competent in the trades as well so moving along nice little t1 uh, and we can see on a higher time frame you can't see it but I'm looking at it now the market's still coming down a uh, nice little winner nice little winner beautiful um, now let's just have a look at this here had a beautiful pivot bounce here uh, you had a um, uh, a and look at you got nice divergence here and a pivot bounce and let me just quickly talk about those as well when you have divergence on price on your MACD in this particular case this is a specially coded MACD I call the platinum MACD so this is specially coded in a certain way my clients um, get all of these uh, if not if you're uh, don't use TradeStation I don't uh, provide indicators for other charting packages I give you the, the unique code um, or settings that you can set up a very similar type one but you've got a pivot bounce here so look at this here notice here trading between the pivots now this is a comment I should have made earlier one of the targets that you have when you're trading in a good trend is you're going to target your lower pivot so you can either trail your stop down but really aim for your next pivot down because that's the next logical part or place the market's going to go so you can see we a lovely 200 bounce uh, traders as we know we love these 200 bounces you had a uh, an 89 bounce here now comment I should make is that with this 89 bounce here, you've got straight off um, some divergence at T this is really an ABC setup straight off the 89 but you're very close to your lower pivot so you're setting up for a bounce which is what happened but what have I got here little more distance and we're bouncing off the 200 now the 200 generally speaking is where you get more resistance and you're more likely to have a much stronger move now we're starting to uh, move down now here we've got a beautiful double bottom we've got angulation away now notice between uh, and I should point this out just going back here too notice how we're getting an angle here notice this the zero line coming down notice that wedge in there traders that's a really good indication that we're going to get a snap back or a swing back back sorry on price down here we've got notice here we're getting that happening down here now here for notice a t1 but see it's a long way out of a channel 
and if you refer to a higher time frame you'll see you're way out of a channel here as well way out so price is way out of a higher time frame channel you're way out of a shorter term you would stay out and look what happens here we get a lovely double bottom that forms remember we're well out of the channel on the higher time frame you're out on the short time frame we've got angulation what does this give us a nice divergence trade a very nice divergence trade and you basically got a zero line cross here we go back up what have we got here type of double top off a pivot now ignore the green bar your entry was not until this candle here why our zero legs rolled over you, you're in on this one now by the way for traders that don't have the zero lag here that changes colors like this you use the fractal signal now see the little black dot all good charting packages have these and your entry is opposite there when the candle closes right there now the point I've got here I've now got a high low here we've got technically an entry here to go long but remember if you're trading the ABC pattern ABC you wouldn't have been until here and you're getting very very close to your pivot it's setting up for a pivot bounce now also we've got to consider the time of day we're getting very very close towards the market closing and around 6 a.m. my time 4 p.m. US the market can go crazy so we've got a lovely little we've got a double top here divergence here on the platinum but notice how then it boom up it goes in the opposite direction the market goes crazy before it closes look at this movement here all right very very dangerous so traders what we can see is some fantastic trading opportunities there and getting back to what I mentioned earlier um, you don't have time to trade multiple charts or multiple markets in my opinion remember we're in this for income we're in it for lifestyle yes it can be exciting but we don't want to be gamblers and what's really important is you have a setup in a market and you take every setup that qualifies and that is you don't want to be jumping from one market to another missing trades because seriously that is where you're going to be hurt very very badly so traders I hope this is informative please subscribe to my youtube channel and I'd love to be coaching you and helping you succeed as a trader thank you traders